Hey guys, in the previous video I showed you how much power those Bluetooth uses on your phone. So if you're wondering about this aspect of your phone, just uh, click a link on there and you'll be taken to this video. In this video, however, we're going to talk about Wi-Fi and a few interesting facts about power consumptions that I uh, discovered while doing these tests. So I'll show you what's going on uh, with charts on the screen. Just like previously, all the tests were done on my LG G3 device uh, with uh, about an hour testing time using different um, scenarios. Each time I was running the test, the device has been rebooted, all the application from the background has been closed and the device has been charged to 100% before I proceeded with my tests. Because, of, because a lot of tasker profiles are dependent on the Wi-Fi and surrounding areas, I think this is important test to measure how much power does we are exactly saving by toggling it on and off. The first scenario is rather obvious, we are connected to the Wi-Fi and we're checking how much power we're drawing while not using the Wi-Fi at all. I think it's an obvious assumption that the more data you draw through Wi-Fi to your device, the more power it's going to use. So I think that 4% of the power use is representative for when the device is in a standby. In the second test, we have a surprise because I've switched my Wi-Fi off and the usage is still around 5%. Now, this is not a mistake. This is a power draw caused by the settings allow Wi-Fi scanning while your Wi-Fi is off. This has been introduced in Android 4.3 and has been here ever since. This is pretty much the information how much power Wi-Fi requires to scan surrounding Wi-Fi's and display the list to us. Now this test was a bit of a surprise to me because it uses 9% of the battery draw and this is when the Wi-Fi isn't connected to a router and it's scanning constantly and searching for other uh, connecting points. As you can see this is when your device takes the most power to operate using Wi-Fi. So how much power savings we actually make when we disable the Wi-Fi? Well, if you have a background connectivity enabled and you're scanning in the background for Wi-Fi, then you're saving about 5%, which gives you about an hour of uh, battery time if your device lives over 24 hours. If you have this feature disabled and you toggle your Wi-Fi, we're talking about 9-10% to of a saving, which should be about just 2 hours of your battery life better. So as you see, unless you're very interested in disable Wi-Fi in the background, you're not saving that much power uh, by toggling your Wi-Fi. We're speaking about 5% on average. As the Wi-Fi and surrounding Wi-Fi points become very important tasker conditions, this should give you a little bit more advice on how to use uh, Wi-Fi as your trigger and when to disable it. As you can see, this is quite interesting actually. It's not always worth of having your Wi-Fi disabled and the gain from doing so is about 5% if you still have a background checking enabled. And also it's worth of to remind, uh, remind you, you only take about 4%, 5% when you're actually connected to the Wi-Fi spot because the background scanning for the networks is not as intense as when you are disconnected. So with this in mind, I'm gonna say bye bye, subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video if you found it useful.